is here. God is in this temple. God is in this place. You got to remember that this service. His presence came in. We all are blessed. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? Oh, when God says his approval, it's time to do something. Can we say hallelujah? This is the best part of the service that's coming up right now. You know why? Because we want to be a blessing. Praise God to Pastor. Overseers, Julian Hicks, praise God and Pastor's Appreciation, 36 years. what I said a few minutes ago. She helped me dry up my tears. I called her out the clear balloon. I can't remember what she called Out the clear blue. I was talking with her. And I told I told some in the council, I don't know if I cried so much since I had a church up before. And I was just crying, crying, crying. And she called
Fox Association. We gotta let you know there ain't nothing that this woman will not do. Yes, yes. If you need help, you need help. She'll come help you clean floors, wipe down kitchens, whatever. You need food. She finds resources yes. for you to provide food for you. If you need help paying a bill, sometimes she'll take you without her own pocket, make sure you have it. Yes. So I am very honored and very proud today to give you this text. Love you, Mom.
And after we do that, we're going to give our honors in Jesus' name. We're going to honor God first. Amen. I shall not thank you, Jesus. If you have it, if you have it. And Jeremiah, what's the thing that's good for Holy Sunday? What's the thing Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, the 4th verse. Hallelujah, Jesus. I didn't, I didn't song, so my time. It's already started when I started singing, so don't worry about it. <laughs> the Lord became the here, blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God, my God. Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, the 4th verse. So we have that theme of scripture. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to read it. You can start reading it in Jesus' name. Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, in the 4th verse. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I will set up shepherds. Over them, they shall be changed. They shall not be able to hold on, nor be they saved. Neither shall they be happy, they say of the Lord. Amen. Let's give Lord a hand for His for His word. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We give honor to God, which is truly the head of our life. Hallelujah. We thank God for just allowing us to be here on today. We give honor to my. She gave me that. She, she was like, girl, don't stop. We give honor to. That's my friend. That's my sister, y'all. I tell you, we, we have some knock down and drag out conversations sometimes, I tell you. But I love her. And I thank God. I give honor to God for her and allowing her to be in this position for 36 years. Hallelujah. My God. That's the Lord. I'm going to for that. Hallelujah. We thank God for that. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my dear brother, Pastor Camacho. I tell you, that is my brother. I'm in the first lady, Camacho. I thank God for you know, that. And by the way, I was out of faith church on the great west side of Chicago. Amen. Amen. I know that one of the officers came to be with us. Aaron came to be with us so much today. We give honor to our state evangelist. Amen. Amen. Another brother of mine is Christ, and another one of my dear, dear friends, Pastor Johnson. I tell you, yeah. you know, God is such a good God. He's a, a mighty man than me and Zion. Hallelujah! I thank God for Elder Smith. Oh, he's such a blessing in Jesus' name. I thank God for him, and I thank God for Pastor Tubbs. Been knowing him for a very long time. Her brother got saved and when my mother was pastoring, and so we've been knowing him for a very long time. And I thank God for a pastor tub in Jesus' name. And I thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for the wonderful music that we enjoy on today. God bless you, and the of God. Amen. We thank God for the word. Hallelujah. We thank God for the invitation on today. I had to like try to uh, save my voice. Uh, I was in Savannah, Georgia. I came back, I got back home yesterday. I was there visiting my sister. And uh, so I said, you've got to take it easy. And then uh, pastors, he taught Sunday school. I wanted to preach, but I ended up having to preach this afternoon. So I said, you got to say your voice, you got to say your voice. But I had to sing that song, I love you, Jesus, because I love the Lord, I love the Lord. And, I, and, and so I thank God for that. So we're, we're, we're talking about the heart of a shepherd. The heart of the shepherd, the heart of the shepherd. If you don't mind, Pastor, I just want to encourage us on tonight, hallelujah. I want to encourage the pastor on tonight, hallelujah, talking about the heart of a shepherd. My God. You know, um, the scripture that they that they uh, uh, that they gave in Jeremiah the 23rd chapter, the fourth verse, uh, the book of Jeremiah was set during a turbulent period when Babylon twice invaded Judah. Destroying Jerusalem and its temple and deporting huge numbers of Judeans. Today, leaders, they, they promise hope and change Come on. only to deliver corruption mm -hmm. and scandal. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, we, we, uh, we elect bright, promising outsiders who go to Washington and immediately become insiders. Mm -hmm. My God, my God, Come my God. Come on. Um, so, what they do is they cease fighting for us. For the little man, hallelujah. The ones that, had, like they say, they're going there because we have no voice. So they cease fighting for us, hallelujah. 
Uh, but for the ideal, they promise in a campaign, and they start fighting to keep themselves yeah. in power. Ah, come on, so the question the world had on today, who can make things right? Whoa. Who will help us out of this situation, this mess that we're dealing with, hallelujah. You know, if, if, if you turn your television on and you look, you uh, listen to the news, or you go online, and you know what's going on in our world, hallelujah. You, you, can't, you can't miss what's going on in our world. Oh. So uh, we have another election coming up next year, hallelujah. So before the election comes up, you have they make these campaign promises, and they yeah. say what they're going to do and how they're going to do it, hallelujah. And they talk about how they're going to allocate the money. Yeah. And, uh, Come on. You know, and, uh, these are leaders, hallelujah. So what we do, we, we put our trust and our confidence in these leaders, hallelujah. We, we, we say, oh, uh, they, 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 they promise. I was, when I was out of town, my, my, my brother-in-law and my, and my niece, uh, uh, they were talking, and you know, he's a, a Democrat, and she's on um, the fence of Republican, and they were, it was, the conversation was so good, and they were going back and forth, and, and talking about the good over here, the bad over there, and it's back and forth, hallelujah, and I was just listening to them, and they tried to, they got trying to get me in the middle of it, and I, and I just had to laugh, I said, you know, I'm not going to get in the middle of this, because if you look at this situation, hallelujah, uh, it, it's, uh, they're both not being truthful with what they're saying, hallelujah, but we talk the heart of a shepherd of today. We're talking about a leader. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to bring your attention to a very familiar song. Anybody can just about has been in church uh, know the 23rd song. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. Now I want you to hear this hallelujah. That shepherd hallelujah uh, only a shepherd could write the, the 23rd songs. David was a shepherd, so he, he, he was able to write that song, hallelujah. The Lord is the shepherd of his people, and they are his, and they are his sheep. So David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. See, Brother David was on the only, he could write that song, hallelujah, because Brother David was a shepherd. And he understood what it meant when you have sheep, hallelujah, he understood the importance of taking care of those sheep, hallelujah. And you know, when you talk about the heart of a shepherd, hallelujah, see, so, you know, what I like about a, 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 a pastor is she's not a hireling, hallelujah. She wasn't hired, hallelujah, and, 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 and collected fifty to $70,000 a year, hallelujah. And I know that's not enough for a lady right there. But because of God's grace and mercy, and the Lord put her in this place, hallelujah, she is a shepherd, hallelujah. Yes. Now, when we look at a shepherd, hallelujah, we look at it, and it says, in the Easter land, the shepherd, they go before his flock. Oh, my God. See, Brother David, he went before his flock. Brother David, he knew that he had to, he did, did everything he could to take care of the sheep, and, and he was fighting, he didn't care about fighting a bear or whatever, and took to protect yes. his flock. Get up his life, hallelujah, for his sheep, hallelujah. 
shepherds who have destroyed, who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pastor, declares the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, a God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who are tending my sheep, who have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not attended to them. Hallelujah.
shepherd. My God, that faith, that faith, hallelujah. My God, and then the fourth verse that says, Yay, oh Jesus, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? Oh my God. There's some time, thanks to God, as we go through this walk, hallelujah. We're going to go through some dark times, hallelujah. Shepherd, you will persevere. So the Lord dealt with me. I was 
talking to God and I was going to shut everything down. And I'll never forget, I was sitting in the living room next to my husband and I was reading the Sunday school lesson to him. He was sitting next to me, I was reading it to him and we was discussing it. And as I was reading it, you know how we do, I was talking to the Lord in my mind. I said, Lord, if you want me to shut it down, I'll shut everything down. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. So I was going to call the brother, I don't know, we, you know, we shut it down, we go on the line. And at that moment, the, 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 the spirit of the Lord hit me so hard. The anointing hit me so hard, I had to get up and go into another room. Hallelujah. Talking about the heart. I, I'm going to finish y'all. Y'all don't preach say that. I, 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 I went into another room. Hallelujah. And I talked to the Lord. I said, Lord, let me know what you want me to do. Hallelujah. And the Lord started dealing with me. Hallelujah. And, and the Holy Ghost let me not tell you to do that. Hallelujah. I said, well, then, Lord, I'm going to need you. I know. I, I know you want to sustain us. I 
know you're going to take me to this, to do this too. So as time went on, my husband started to get weaker and weaker and what have you. We had went out to dinner with the Camachos and he was trying to be strong and everything. And, uh, and I tell you, and I thank God for that. And um, He ended up, I was at work and he ended up calling me, talking about the heart of a shepherd, saints of God. Yeah. He ended up calling me and I had to rush. I told the nurse, I was like, I said, I gotta go. It was midnight. I rushed from my job and went all the way home. He didn't want to call 911. He wanted me to be there. So I rushed. I was speeding. Oh, forgive me. I was, I, I was speeding to get home to my husband. And when I got there, he was, you know, and, and laid out or what have you. I got him to the, the I got there before the ambulance did. Uh, they, they took him to the hospital. And I looked at my husband uh, when he was in the hospital. And I said, okay, Jesus. I knew, I knew, um, I knew he wasn't coming back home. Talking about the heart of a shepherd. So when the Lord saw fit to take my husband, hallelujah, God knows better that the cancer had spread from the, from, uh, 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 um, uh, from um, the prostate to the colon to the lungs. So I, I knew those vital organs I knew. So when the Lord took my husband home, talk about the heart of a shepherd. Yes. I don't look for sympathy, Pastor. Yeah. I need your sympathy. And I'm not saying it because I'm all that. I'm saying it because I'm a child of God.
nothing about a shepherd. They're not going to tell you everything they go through. They ain't going to tell you everything they go through. They may talk to a few friends, but they're not going to tell you. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to tell you, because you may not, you won't be able, you may not, too, you won't be able to handle them. Hallelujah. So what they do, they go to God. Your body gets sick, hallelujah. You're so worried. 
Oh, my God.